Probably feels himself a little bit unlucky. Not too happy himself, Keith Arterton. With this ball pitched way out in the rough and spun a long way back. He was heading towards the stumps, but I'm not too sure it would, it would have reached the off stump. But seven for one six. Aiden getting really excited there. I think he thought he was going to get his third. <laughs> oh, that's close. Too much bounce. Too much bounce. It nipped back. Oh, he's given him. Oh, no. That's a dreadful decision. That is a dreadful decision. He didn't play a shot. He allowed the ball to... Well, it, I mean, the truth of the matter is I don't think he anticipated the movement back off the seam, but there was no way that was going to hit the stumps. That's his third duck. Have a look at this. Just watch the movement and then the bounce. Well, it's ticked back. It's, just, it's obviously very high. Strange one. I think everybody just let it pause and let it go. I just thought he was going to be too high. I'd say not out, but suddenly the finger came up. There he is, Buckner. No doubt in my mind that uh, that... A big shout. Not interested, Steve Buckner. Once you see that head being shook immediately, you know. It's when he stands there and looks that you start worrying as a batsman. Yes, sir. It's, uh... it's always a good shout with Monty. Has he gone this time? They've all gone up. Steve Buckner is unmoved. Not for the first time. The umpires are the focal point. And in fact, I think Andrew Simons looked back as soon as he played it, which is normally a giveaway. Yes. Oh, ho, ho. clear, clear outside edge. But uh, Steve Buckner, I'm afraid, said no. Look at that, it's such a big nick. Ah! Oh, it's a leg break. A big appeal there, and I'm afraid Buckner's giving it the finger. Hussein can't believe it. I wonder there, that's whether we've got a bit of a raw deal. I think he might have got a bit of bat on that. Well, he's definitely looked at his bat. Unhappy with the decision. The replay will show us. Well, he was right in front of his stumps, but I think that was bat first. Buckner gives it the little nod before the finger goes up. Of course, the umpire doesn't have the benefit of this replay, but that's going to show us that it almost came off the middle of the bat. That's another very unjust decision to Nasser Hussain, and I think he knows it. Just have a look at this, the change of the expression on the face. Total disbelief. Oh, that's a very good delivery. Big shout. Might have just been going leg side. Shane Warne can't believe it. Steve Buckner has said, not out. But the man who matters is the umpire, and Steve Buckner thought the ball was going down. Piston line, no doubt about it, straightening up. Ah! Oh, was it an outside edge, was it? Yes, it was! Oh, Rahul Dravid, uh, not happy with it. Not happy whatsoever. It may have uh, brushed the pad. We'll just have a look whether the bat was anywhere in the way. Oh, yes, the bat is nowhere near. It's gone off the pads. Everything seemed to be tucked behind that front pad. And so the only noise given was the ball flicking the pad, maybe on the way through, but certainly not glove, not bat. It's another shocker. Hang on a minute, Slats. He might have been given out LBW. It's still a shocker if that's the case. <laughs> We're going to show you the Raul Dravid dismissal. I want you to look at two people here, Adam Gilchrist and Steve Bucknor. Has he given it? Well, yes he has. It was a funny sort of appeal. Because I think the umpire was waiting for the batsman to walk. And uh, I think also Mark Taylor may have hit the ground at the same time as he edged the ball. And sometimes when you do that, as a batsman, you don't know that you've actually nicked it. We know that Taylor hit the ground. You can see the dust come up as uh, he plays the stroke. We assume that it's uh, gone off the edge as well. It's uh, pitched in the footmarks there. Oh, it's uh, just the turn. So uh, Taylor hasn't hit it. It was just the spin out of the footmarks. Here we go. 
They've gone for the appeal. Steve Buckner is not convinced. Well, he is. Finally, he makes that decision. It was a very late call from him. Prince didn't uh, like it at all. Once again, undone by a wrong one. We were seeing it early on. And maybe the bat just hitting the turf and nothing else. Maybe there was an edge, but there was certainly some confusion. Confusion in his mind as well. He took a lot of time to raise that finger. Controversial decision. Have a look at this. This will give you a clear idea. The bales are out. The bales are gone. His foot is in the air. He asked the square leg empire. There's absolutely no doubt in my mind that he's passed his sell-by date. Now this is out. He should have gone upstairs. He's got the experience. His shelf period is over. It's time to retire and the ICC have to look at it seriously. It cannot go on past reputation.